Angel, before we start the reading, uh, I want to say that uh, thank you for all your love and patience. Uh, yes, I had inter the divine intervention that took place, and it was a positive thing, but it put me to a halt, and I had to stop my readings for a bit because I had to um, rearrange something in my life. And uh, I will one uh, one uh, one day in the near future, f near future, sorry, tell you all about it. But. Uh, so this reading is from June 17th to uh, June 30th, 2020. So I am going to do it for like this. And then in July, I will start doing weeklies again. Okay. So now uh, the reason why I use my singing bowl is to clear my energy and space. And I will do the same thing for you. And at the same time, I'm going to send love, light, protection, happiness, health, and wealth or whatever it is that your heart desires or what it really, really what you need at this time. Okay peace of mind um so let's get started here Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's look at your affirmation. From uh, June uh, 17th to the June 20th, you have patience, Aries, patience. It says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Now, there's three cards that popped out for you with the angels, and I put them back in, and guess what? The three same cards popped out, so I knew that these were for you. Maybe they're not for all of you, like, but there's three cards here. First one is cut your cords. And it says here, ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, um, freeing you from destructive patterns. So cut out your cords. Then you have integrity. And it says here, align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of, of what's right for you. Standing in your integrity. And you have the last but not least, you have twin flame. And it says here, the answer to your question involves a spiritual based romantic relationship. But you know that the twin flame is not really just a spiritual romantic relationship. Uh, like some of you do know, it's very, very, uh, it's, it's, it's an intense, 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 intense uh, union. Uh, Archangel Raphael is saying spiritual teacher. Look how beautiful this card is. It's saying here, you heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. Some of you are spiritual teachers. And then last but not least, you got thought patterns. And it says here, get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth, Aries. Get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. So this is what this is for you. And now we're going to get into uh, your spiritual messages that I have for you. So <clears throat> at this time, uh, Aries, a lot of you are going to, you have Pluto. The Pluto energy is like you're going through some type of uh, transformation. Uh, for some of you are feeling guilty about things, uh, or it could be also um, guilt, shame, hurt, uh, also sabotaging yourself, okay, or your project, or or just patterns it could be just patterns. It's also about it's talking about your self worth, of, of who you are as a person, and if your expectations are too high. Some of you, there's a divine energy here, a divine feminine energy. Now, this could be a mother figure, a sister figure, a best friend figure, anything that has, someone that has a, a who is a strong feminine energy around you. There's something that needs to be healed from this uh, situation, and this has to do f uh, uh, with your inner child, and maybe when you were a child or. Uh, just I feel like there's like an, an aspect of your inner child that has to be uh, healed. You will get clarity. I see that your third eye is open there and you're going to get clarity in things that you did not know. And uh, I feel like all of you are isolating with your thoughts. Okay, that's how you're isolating. And if they talk about, um, I see that, I see that there's a lot of self-care on your end. 
you know you're taking care of yourself i see candles and i see flowers i see a red rose and i see books there and like i see you sitting down and with this energy and maybe some of you are doing some moon rituals or bath rituals of self-care and energy okay and there will be um mars is also very strong in your reading where there's going to be some type of attraction that's very hot attraction for you and growth uh, there's going to be some type of growth that's going to be taking place in the summertime okay so that's what i'm getting for you next this reading is for aries anywhere that you have aries in your chart this is your reading anytime you see this this is the right time also uh, what did i want to say to you yes um if the reading resonates claim claim it but if it doesn't resonate look at your rising look at your moon moon is about emotions venus is about love and mercury is about uh communication so let's get started here with your reading now i'm going to show you where you are right now okay um what spirit wants you to focus on your recent past your recent past what is coming towards you what spirit wants you to know and your possible future and then I'm going to clarify the cards. overall energy aries you got the tower card yep so this is divine intervention coming in and it's stepping in to take care of everything like to release people's situations that are not for your eyes good clearing house as well uh it also talks about where unexpected change is going to take place a detour if fate is stepping in okay where you are right now you are with the seven of swords energy okay so aries or you are withholding information uh, trying to get away with something or there's someone around you that has this type of energy around you and this has to do what's crossing you with the two of cups energy so this could be a cancer scorpio pisces it doesn't have to be because it's a cup energy but there is some type of a, 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 um, some type of um union here a relationship that's coming in together what do they want you to focus on uh, aries is this five of cups energy why they want you to focus on this is that some of you are there's a lot of regret here hurt shame you're releasing you're releasing but you're not looking at the two cups that are behind you where you need to start be in gratitude of what you have here you're looking at these cups that have been spilled right you're coming out slightly of this this, this depression that you're in and the divine is saying well there's a silver lining here okay there's something that you need to get like an epiphany like a ha ha moment where everything happens for a reason there's a reason why this took place for you in the recent past in the recent past you got the uh, temperance reverse this talks about you know maybe your body your life your mind your spirit was not in balance uh, this talks about not having patience, okay? Maybe you're, you're dealing with a Sagittarian energy for some of you. If not, it just means that you're not, be, you're not being imbalanced, uh, just your life, your life and uh, also not moderating it in your life, okay? Moderating it. What is above you is the Seven of Cups energy, okay? You're dreaming big. You have many dreams. You have big aspirations, and you should go for them. But there's a sense of grounding, okay? There's a sense of grounding, 
what come, what's coming towards you is the lover's card this could be a twin flame card okay for some of you okay a lover a friend a best friend could be anybody a sibling a friend it doesn't matter if you're single and you say well i have nobody well it could be a friend it could be a family member it could be just an acquaintance uh, but well, there's something here that uh that uh, is, is like is uh, archangel Raphael is bringing this union here whatever this union is for you and there is a decision that will have to be made in the seventh position you got the queen of swords reversed there's some uh, maybe you're dealing with an aquarius gemini or a libra maybe you have a, a air energy in your chart maybe you're not speaking to someone maybe you cut off somebody completely or someone cut you off aries uh no communication not being in clarity confusion okay and no clarity here what spirit wants you to know is that you got the six of swords and there's success here for you so success for business success for love success for your own business yes in the ninth position you got the five of swords reverse which talks about this is uh dissipating from you the five of swords reverse is <coughs> you thinking that people are there to get you or there's the energies of people trying to get to you uh, this is dissipating from you okay and the last card you got is uh, your card. You came into your own reading Aries, okay? You having everything under control, setting up new rules and new boundaries, commitment, stability here in the business, in a family home. This could also be a father and mother. There's something about a father and a mother here that's very strong for some of you out there that needs to be healed. Now, let's look at the Seven of Swords energy, okay? Let's look at the Seven of Swords. Uh, yeah, Seven of Swords. What is? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay, you got the Ace of Swords. You got, oh, okay, wait a second. You got the Devil card, the Five of Wands reversed, and the Hermit card reversed. Oops. And then you also got the Star card. So you have a lot of cards here. I'll show them to you. So you got the Seven of Swords. Withhold, someone is withholding information here, whether it's you or the other party. Okay, um, with the Ace of Swords... The divine is coming in to give you clarity on something that you could not see or something that you were stuck in or you weren't able to see or feel or um, see the clarity of it. And um, you're going to cut through all the negative, all the, the fog, and there's going to be a lot of communication. Your crown is going to be back up again. Something about your crown chakra as well, for some of you, well, is healed here. A lot of great communication and great ideas. Some of you have are a Capricorn here, so let's say... Uh, or you're dealing with a Capricorn energy, or you have like Capricorn very strong in your chart. Uh, this talks about fears, uh, temptations, unhealthy relationships, friendships. Uh, it talks about insecurities, uh, something you're bonded to, a person, maybe a, a, some, some sort of addiction here, okay? Maybe you're going to be cutting off this type of situation. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, where there's been a lot of fighting, but again, the Five of Swords and the Five of Wands here is showing me that this is dissipating from you, okay? This is being removed from you. And some of you are dealing with a Virgo energy. If not, you're coming out of that Hermit stage at around this time, okay? You're coming out of a, uh, the Hermit stage where you were, uh, you know, introspecting to, and, and following your own path. You're coming out of that. And there is a healing and a blessing that will be taking place in your life. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius or this is the Aquarian energy. And this could take up to 18 months for the healing. It doesn't mean it's going to happen right now. Maybe for some of you, yes. But for those of you, it will take time, okay? Uh, there is an 18 months. I do uh, hear 18, okay? So let's look at the two... Why is the two of cups here? What is the two cups about? <clears throat> the page of swords reversed. The king of cups reversed. The ten of wands upright. And the four of swords upright. What I'm feeling here, this is someone, I feel some of you are dealing with someone from your past, okay? Uh, someone that you had taken a break with. Uh, whoever the situation is for you with the two of cups. Or there could also be someone new coming because I do see two type of energies here. But whatever it is here with the page of swords reverse i see that there's no communication at this time someone is not seeing in clarity here okay no communication no clarity and someone that has the king of cups energy reverse this talks about the king of cups reverse talks about or you 
an energy or someone around you, whoever you're dealing with, someone that is not emotionally available, someone that has to fill up their own cup, someone that's, you know, maybe they're moody, they're, they're, they're not doing well at this time, okay? And um, they're carrying a lot on your, their shoulders, whether this is you, Aries, maybe this is what you are, you're not feeling good, maybe you don't, you need to uh, fill in your cup of, of uh, fill your cup with self-love, okay? A lot of frustration, carrying a lot on your shoulders, overburdened, a lot of like carrying a lot, a lot, okay? Uh, and then there's an ending because it's a 10, right? And there is some type of break that's taking place here. There will be a break or you will be taking a break or you have been in a break maybe in the last four months, maybe since September of 2019. I don't know why I'm hearing 2019, September, okay, of taking care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. Now let's look at the Five of Cups energy here. What spirit wants you to focus on? You got the King of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Cups. The Four of Swords, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Page of pentacles okay so whatever it is that you're going through okay you're in this type of situation here maybe you're dealing with a taurus Virgo, or capricorn energy or this is you they want you to focus on seeing seeing the silver lining of a situation and uh knowing that everything happens for a reason okay this talks about stability and this talks about where the king of pentacles this talks about taurus virgo or crack capricorn it doesn't have to be but this talks about success being reliable being satisfactory in your uh, your items that you have whatever that you have because you work very hard energy here and with the ten of cups energy this is a soulmate energy happiness here everything is taking place here this is what you could have okay but some of you are in this type of um uh, with the five of uh, cups okay upright the four pentacles reversed okay and the page of pentacles reversed it talks about something like some type of instability and some type of some some type of offering that's not coming in in the way that you want okay so now we're going to take a look at that because what they're showing me is this and this is good okay so it's just that you're you're going through a situation a process here so let's look at the page of pentacles reversed with the five of cups and the four of pentacles reversed okay let's take a look at that I'm going to ask for one more card. You got the three of cups reversed. And a new beginning. So there is some type of energies that someone removes someone here. Because I feel that there was like, a, there was more than one person involved in a situation maybe. Um, something that was, was, was a start of, of something that did not come through, a fall through. Something fell through. But there will be a new beginning, okay? There will be a new beginning. And this is very beautiful. All these three cards together with the sun shining, the rainbow here, soulmate, contentment, happiness, energy. And this is what they want you to focus. They want you to focus on the good. Now let's look at temperance reversed, okay? Let's look at the temperance reversed. This is about having patience. Okay, why is the temperance reversed in the recent past? You've got the two of swords energy. You got the okay, so I got here um temperance reversed, the two of swords energy. This is an energy where you're looking into the past, you're looking into the future. You know there's something there's a path that you must take or choose, okay, and it's something that's been weighing on you for a very long time. And you need to take out the blindfold. This that's see, look, you need to take out the blindfold and make the decision or uh, choose that path or whatever it is that you have to do okay and it says here you need to like this this patience is needed okay patience is needed uh there is something that came towards you or will be coming towards you okay in the recent past or has already arrived where the divine is coming in to uh, this is the divine coming in to bring you something faded or your destiny but at the same time it's also you have to make judgment or it's karma some type of karma which leads to the four of wands reversed okay meaning unhappy home um unstable in the home unhappiness boredom in the home or some type of something that took place for you now let's look at the seven of cups energy okay let's look at the what's above you is the seven of cups energy upright you got the three of wands reversed aries the moon reversed.
and the four of uh, cups okay so you have a lot of dreams here and you could dream and bake and you could do vision boards okay it's like you have you want so many things in life and it's understandable but uh, a lot of you uh, I just went through or are going through or are releasing a lot of fears in your life. This is the night. Neptune card energy it could be a Piscean energy you're dealing with. This is about releasing the re releasing your fears, insecurities, everything. And you're going to get a lot of unusual dreams at this time. But at this time, you're not looking into the future with optimism. Like you're not looking into the future with hope and optimism, okay? Uh, it's just there's a delay here because there is something being shown to you from the universe like here Here's my cup, but you're not even interested in three cups that you have in front of you Some of you are discontented. You're bored. You're not happy And I'm going to take an extra card on the four of cups energy for you So at this time you are reevaluating everything in your life could be the money you have what's your what's in your account the investments you have or it's just general uh, how far you come and there is a delay that's taking place here with the sun card okay there's a delay some type of delay that's taking place in your life so now let's look at the lovers card what is coming towards you so let's look at the lovers card here you're feeling stuck about a situation in your head about a situation you're overthinking over analyzing aries about the situation it's like you're blocking yourself from the situation for some of you and there will be some type of secret that's going to be revealed to you yes you know so you're dealing with a gemini energy here it could be but there is some type of secret that will be uh uh that will be uh given to you it's universal and with the nine of uh, uh pentacles it shows me here that a lot of you are taking care of yourself, you're self-sufficient, you're independent, you also take care of your your own needs, uh, self-care here, and being in touch with yourself and nature. And there's also an element of being single. Uh, for some, like there's a single energy here. But let's let's look further with this. Um, yeah, so you are manifesting. You're trying to manifest the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is what you're trying to manifest, is the Ten of Pentacles, money, um, having the security, um, you're, you, anything that you want, you could manifest, okay? Anything that you want, you have all the elements here to manifest whatever you want, whether it's love, money, health, um, whatever it is, career, you have it all. You have it all, Aries. It could also be a situation with this twin or whoever this person, this lover, whoever it is for you, it's very passionate, Okay, very passionate. A lot of transformational energy here. Now, let's look at this Queen of uh, Swords reversed. Let's look at this Queen of Swords reversed. Who is this Queen of Swords? Okay, you've got the Empress, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles reversed. I, I, like I'm picking up a lot of mother-father energy in your reading. A lot of father and mother energy. But there's something here that's not stable at this moment for some of you that are going through a hard time in the relationship maybe or maybe not even only in the relationship it could also be at work or something okay where there's no cooperation there's no stability this could also be for some of you marriage or some type of commitment okay i'm going to take an extra card for that why is the three of pentacles reversed with the queen well it's uh, feeling left out of a situation feeling like you're in the dark maybe not having enough okay but there is help if you want to take it it's there and what it's showing me here is a lot of you are opening to up to some type of divine connection here divine love true love this is you opening your heart chakra to uh, the energy of love uh you're gonna feel a lot overwhelming but you will be at peace and you got the minus touch so yeah you got the minus touch with the empress energy everything you touch turns to gold this is about death and rebirth uh, being a lot, a lot of great ideas coming forward. Um, you're some of you are doing a make do or make over. A lot of make over here, I see, and a lot of abundance and new opportunities are going to be taking place for you. Yep, you will be receiving a quick message out of the blue. 
something someone unexpected will are, is coming in to bring you a message very good message here i don't see that as a bad message okay now let's look at the six of the six of wands energy you got the ace of pentacles the nine of swords the ten of swords wow and one more card a lot of you are having a hard time transit transiting or moving away from a place where once it was very dark uh, or there's someone that's clinging on to you that's not moving away maybe they pretended to be moved away from you or they're not contacting you or they're, but they're not there's still there's a there's a sense of clinging here and with the six of uh wands energy this talks about something or someone being successful here and i got the ace of pentacles there is a gift or some type of money that's coming towards you that's going to help you but you also got the nine of swords energy that you are in fear more than in love you cannot sleep you have insomnia and it's an ending that's taking place with the nine and the ten okay there's an ending where you know maybe things that did not work out before and for you are going to finally work out the sun is shining and it's lifting that up now let's look at the five of the five of uh swords reverse sorry about that i thought someone was waving at me in the window <laughs> Okay, uh, five of swords reversed. Let's look at that for you. You got the knight of pentacles. You got the wheel of fortune and the strength card. Look at this, Aries. So there is this, uh, this five of swords dissipating from you at this time. There is someone coming in towards Virgo or Capricorn energy very slowly, but they're coming in. They usually the, the type of people that have your back if it's for business or for love or friendship. They also carry a lot of blessings around. And with maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo energy. You're going to have the strength and courage to move forward. Okay, this may be in the time of July or August of 2020. And there is a second chance taking place for you. The wheel is turned in your favor. And this could be like destiny and profound changes are taking place sometime. Maybe in the month of August. Let's look at the Emperor. This is who you are, my beautiful Aries. You are the Emperor, the Empress. Very strong energy here. The Emperor. Why is the Emperor here? You've got the Eight of Pentacles. You've got the Queen of Cups. You've got the Elephant. The chariot and death card. Okay, Mercury, I'm gonna get into retrograde. So over here I have the emperor. What are you doing with another Aries? There's something that you're working in detail, in great length and detail, late at night. There's something that you're doing over and over again. It's some type, some type of uh, sometimes sometimes something that you've been working on. Some of you, it's like you've been working on something over and over again, expecting different results, but there's a sense that you feel like giving up and you're frustrated. They're asking you not to, because I do see there is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Some are very nurturing, very loving, okay, very kind, also very psychic as well. Um, this could be male or female, but there is a, someone that's very emotionally available here. And uh, she may be a Cancer, okay, or a Sagittarius, but there's something in the... In the month of June, Aries, you're going to take control of a situation and you're going to move forward. And, and uh, even though, like, let's say, like, the road is really bumpy in front of you, okay, and you know it's not going to be, like, straight all the time, you're going for it. Willpower, ambition, you know, and it's like ending of difficult periods. It's like a cycle of ending uh, and uh, of difficult periods and you're going to move forward. And, yes, there's going to be a death and rebirth. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio energy. Okay, uh, death and rebirth that's taking place here. Uh, this is releasing people or situations that are not for your highest good. Profound changes are taking place. And uh, the elephant also talks about like there is some type of marriage here. Could be a marriage here that you're some type of death and rebirth you're going through. Uh, for others of you, you're going within and you're really, um, you're not taking like any roads at all. You're following your own path to talk to the divine. You're not following any anyone else's path but yours 
uh, some of you are studying also. There's like studying about like uh, on spirituality, on which paths, or you're dealing with someone that's very conventional, very different than you. Uh, the elephant is almost like the high priest. Okay, also very psych psychic as well. So it's a very profound change that's going to take place here. And let's look at the tower card. The tower card. Okay. You got the hangman, the six of cups reversed with the eight of wands reversed. Some type of messaging is not going back and forth in the way that it should be with someone from your past. Okay, and there's what and, and with the hangman, you're in limbo. Oh, well, you're in limbo about a situation. You're getting all the signs, you're seeing everything, but you're in limbo. And there's a sense of surrendering here. You need to surrender because with uh, the divine card coming in, the tower card coming in for unexpected uh, unexpected changes. Let's look at the hangman, the six of cups reversed and the eight of wands reversed. Yeah, something is not completed. So for some of you, there's something that's not completed from your past. Someone is clinging on to someone, or it's you, Aries, or someone else is clinging on to you. But something is not finished here, okay? It's not. And I'm going to take another card for the world reversed. Why is the world reversed? Yeah. Okay. What's coming to you? Some of you need to surrender. Let go and surrender. Surrender. Just surrender and let go. Let be. Let God. Let, I don't know. Because you're getting the Ten of Pentacles. This could be in a home, family, love, right? A lot of love. It could be in a business venture, stability. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of... You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. But there's something that's not completed. This is, could be like um, unexpected money, inheritance money. Could be uh, inheritance money. Yeah, it could be an inheritance money that's uh, taking place here for you and or a large sum of money. But whatever it is, something is not completed and the Ten of Pentacles is coming in and there's also will be an offering coming in. Someone romantic wanting to shower you with love. So now uh, let's look at... Your animal totem, okay? Let's look at your animal totem. Aries, you got the tiger. This is lunar force, ease in darkness, and feminine energy. The tiger hunts at night, at one with the silence, fearing nothing. This card reminds us to take in the wild darkness, to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits. Sensuality, receptivity, and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour, and the tiger takes advantage of these boons. Spend some time in silence this evening, drinking in the, pot the potent calm. There's nothing to fear in the stillness except the awakening of your own power. Wow, this is a powerful card. So tiger energy is with you. And when you're in balance, you're passionate, strong, and sensual. But when you're out of balance, you're overstimulated. And to bring into balance is can candle gazing. So sitting down, lighting up a candle, and gaze gazing at the candle, going within and finding your true power. Let's look at that. What kind of crystal? You have the black obsidian, the shadow. This is the base chakra. And the crystal meaning of this card is powerful cleaner, cleanser of negative energy draws to the surface unresolved issues for release and healing, dissolves destructive patterns, lets old habits and traits surface allowing love and acceptance of the total self, permits entry into the void to re receive wisdom and knowledge from shadow sides. So a message from your crystal diva is the journey of the shadow is definitely a powerful and enriching experience on many levels those who find the strength and courage to master the path of the shadow are gifted with a life of balance and freedom we are all one with the universe and all aspects positive and negative light and dark exist within us the shadow consists of aspects that are denied and pushed away due to fear and misunderstanding they become hidden in they become hidden in the unconscious 
and spiral out of control and play havoc in your life. When you invite them back into your light, the conscious mind, you can love them without judgment, bringing about a deeper sense of peace and harmony in your inner and outer world. If you have been feeling a little depressed of late, maybe even acting out in self-sabotage, pushing away fear and other negative emotions, this could be a sign that your shadow is playing out in your unconscious. It's now time to embrace all of you and love yourself in all your reality. Many gifts, including your personal power, are hidden within the shadow, and it's now time to reclaim these gifts in their glory. The Divas of Black Obsidian are here to support you at this important time as you embark on this self-empowering journey into the shadow. This card may also be a sign that whatever you are asking guidance on in this reading is hidden in the shadow and there's something that you are not seeing yet. Be patient and work with the Divas to bring awareness and insight to your situation. Wow, right? So Black Obsidian, look, see, I'm wearing one too, you know, Black Obsidian. I wear it like this. Um, so for those of you that um, don't have a Black Obsidian, look under the video. There is the website there with 10% off with my name. If not, you can use the card itself to do meditate with for the next, for as long as you need it, because this is very good to protect your energy. Now let's see what the quantum energy has to say for you. Stuck energy. Yep, stuck energy. Um, an old-fashioned truck is stuck deeply in the mud, clearing clearly not going anywhere. A frustrated man sits on the top, trying to dis discern how he's going to get it out. Similarly, you are looking at a situation in your life where you feel overwhelmingly stuck and you simply don't know, simply don't know how to change things. Perhaps you're in a job that's dissatisfying, yet you feel like you can't ha leave because of the money. Maybe you're in a relationship that's uh, stifling or even in some way dishonoring to you, yet you feel you must stay, perhaps for the kids or because you believe you can't make it on your own. Whatever it is, you find yourself so deeply in entrenched that you can't seem to move. Yet, take a moment to notice the rainbow and orbs behind the man. Th these represent the power of your own spirit and the message here is a life lesson from your soul. It's time to know that you do have the power to resolve this seemingly unresolvable situation. Stop and figure out the logistical steps you need to take. Meditate on the strength of your soul. You always have options and you are resourceful and capable enough to figure them out. Only you have the power to choose the direction of your life. No matter what you're dealing with, you can get unstuck. Okay, and your affirmation, if you want to say it after me, is only I have the power to change my life. I am capable and comfortable with any change I choose to make. Again, only I have the power to change my life. I am capable and comfortable with any change I choose to make. So, Aries, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Know that I love you and I have your back. And I'll see you in July when I start doing the weeklies again. Take care. Love you. Bye.